Hello and welcome to Flipped Maths with Mrs. D. Hoog. Today our topic is time and we are going to be um, looking at AM and PM and time duration. So looking at our objectives, we are learning to understand the difference between AM and PM, calculate durations of time, how much time has passed, and calculate the start or finish times when given a time duration. So let's look at some examples or some information first. So all I 
I need to do is have my start add and then new term Oopsies. so I can get my little table uh, I know I said this is a t-chart method but there's actually three columns um, really it's just a table method so we start off at 8.12 a.m. and well I'm just going to add eight minutes I need to finish at 10 o'clock um, that's when I need to stop adding time to see how much time had passed and how long she was at school for so eight minutes well I know that eight to I know that 12 minutes plus eight minutes would mean it would become 20 minutes at 12 plus 8 is 20 and the hour is still the same it hasn't gone past that then I would go okay so it's 8 20 Okay, I'm just going to add 10 minutes now, and it will become 8.30 a.m. Haven't reached 10 o'clock yet. Okay, well I'm going to add another 30 minutes, because I know it's going to reach 9 o'clock. 30 minutes after 8.30 will equal 9, or it'll reach 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. And then I, I have to finish at 10 a.m. So I'm just going to go, well, <clears throat> 9 a.m. If I add 1 hour... I just need to do the H. Remember from the standard. Um, <clears throat> actually, I don't think I had it on this side. That was in the um, previous video. The standard one would just be writing the H. So writing down one H is one hour, and then it would equal ten o'clock. That's what the time would be. So then all I need to do is I've basically just jumped ahead a bit of time, a little bit by little bit until I reach ten a.m., which was my goal to finish. And now I just need to add up the middle ones. To find out what was the total time difference. So I'm just going to put my one hour over here and then just write and <clears throat> excuse me and then I've dealt with that one. I'll see if this one will equal um, you might even want to start with the minutes actually because there will be questions that you will get that you'll have to um, transfer over obviously because it'll be more than an hour's worth in the minutes. So eight minutes plus ten minutes is eighteen minutes and then 18 plus 30, oops, would equal 8 plus 0 is 8, 1 plus 3 is 4, so that's 48 minutes. Okay, I haven't reached um, an hour yet because it's 60 minutes in one hour. So then I've got rid of those, and then one hour and 48 minutes. So the answer to the question would be, well, she was at school for one hour and 48 minutes. Alrighty. So, looking at the final example, <coughs> this is another method, it's the timeline method. So here, Jack left his house at 4.05 p.m. It took him one hour and 25 minutes to get to a nearby park. What time did he arrive at the park? So this is, we've got the amount of time that passed, the start time. So 4.05 p.m., <coughs> that's our start time. And it took him an hour and 25 minutes. So all I need to do on my timeline is just add on an hour and 25 minutes until I reach, um, and then I'll find out what the time is that he would actually have arrived at the park. So if I go an hour and five, 25 minutes, okay. So I'm actually going to deal with the hour first. One hour would mean it would be 5.05. .05. We're just changing this hour here, four to five. So I've dealt with the one hour, but I actually have to do one hour and 25 minutes. So what I'm going to do is count on 25 minutes now. I might like to break down a little bit more and say, well, I'm going to do five minutes of the 25. And that would bring us to 5.10 p.m. And then I've only got 20 minutes left over. So I'm, I can actually count in 20 minutes because I know 10 minutes plus 20 minutes is going to, oopsies, is going to be 5.30. And there is my answer, 5.30 p.m. That's when he would have arrived at the park. So now you've, always, you've got some examples or some questions to work out on your homework sheet. Here they are. Anne was eating toast for dinner late in the afternoon at 5 o'clock. Was it 5 a.m. or 5 p.m.? This one here is about using the timeline um, method here. Xavier arrived at the shopping centre at 8.02 a.m. He left at 8.20 a.m. How long was he at the shops for? Jenny started doing her homework at 4 p.m. It took her one hour and five minutes to finish. What time did she finish her homework? So please pause the video now and have a go at working out these questions on your
find your homework sheet. They've actually already set up your homework sheet to have the number line set up and also the table for you to make things a bit easier. All right, so here are the answers. 5 p.m., which is, means it's past midday, it's afternoon, or the evening almost. Um, then we've got here, total time would be 18 minutes. Have a look at how I bounced across my timeline to find the, the time difference between the two, um, or the duration of time. And then the last question here, the finish time would be 5.05 p.m. Have a look at how I've worked it out. If you're not sure um, and you did get it wrong, just make sure you still mark on your homework sheet. And then you can always ask me tomorrow in class to find out more information. Um, all right. And please record how you might use this, um, this topic in your real life and then any questions or comments that you have. Thank you so much for listening to and watching this video on time.